Out of LMPD, a young officer and father has died in the line of duty. Officer Zach Cottingham was with LMPD for seven years, but public service has been a part of his life for much longer. His wife is a civilian employee with the department. Also, his dad is an LMPD officer. Cottingham leaves behind two young children. Here's what we know about the investigation into his death. Officer Cottingham was outside of his police cruiser on I-64 near Melwood Avenue Saturday morning investigating an abandoned vehicle. Officers say another driver driver lost control and hit him on the interstate. He was rushed to U of L hospital and into emergency surgery, but could not be saved. His fellow officers learned of his death late last night outside of the hospital. You go to work and you know there is there is the potential that you won't come home. And so um, there's an enormous amount of pain for many people in a multitude of assignments. Tonight, his fellow officers escorted his body from the Jefferson County Coroner's Office on LaGrange Road to the Highlands Funeral Home on Taylorsville Road. And that's where we find Tom Lally live right now. Tom, the public was invited to line that route tonight. What were you seeing from the funeral home? Shay, when the procession got to the funeral home, it's Highland Funeral Home, the road was lined with people all here to support that fallen officer. We have video we want to show you of kids, a young boy waving a flag the same size he is, and parents with experience on the force or connection in the family. When the hearse pulled in, they were all quiet. One couple told me their son is an officer. When he goes to work each day, he puts his life at risk and could end up in the same spot. Put your life on the line every day. I mean, you never know if you're going to make it home or not, you know. And all you can do is support them and, you know, and appreciate them for what they do. And they cry. It's sad. It's just sad. And nobody should have to go through this. Nobody. Unfortunately, it's a familiar sight for us. The casket of a law enforcement officer covered with an American flag. Tonight, we're actually just a few miles away from Owen Funeral Home, where a procession brought Deputy Brandon Shirley just back in August. Some people I spoke with here today said that was the first procession they'd ever been a part of. Tonight, for the second time this year, they're adding one to the list. Alive in Louisville, Tom Lally, WHAS 11, on your side.